what's up y'all welcome back to another reaction video today i will be reacting to a video posted by trend crave and the video is called top five convicts reacting to life sentences so without further ado let's get straight into the video video when we go into the top five guilty convicts who started freaking out after they got sentenced to life in prison or a really long sentence in general basically criminals turn <laughs> cry maybe some really satisfying stuff because these people in this video are complete and total pieces of shit before we end this video, yeah. though, if you guys don't want your butt to get nutted into in jail, then make sure you like on this video. And of course, comment down below and tell me if you have any stories about somebody you know turning into a complete and total crybaby when they're trying to act all hard and shit like that. Maybe that person was you. I don't know what your life is like. Tell me any stories. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Link down in the description. But let's go and get into this top five, which is actually a top seven. In the seven spot, we've got a man who killed a mother of five, murdered her in cold blood, and once he figured out that he was going to serve a sentence of 50, 100 years in prison, he absolutely lost it. He was super pissed off. I got to say, this dude looks like a con real quick. Uh, and I hope he rots in prison because he's a complete and total wow. piece of shit. I don't know what he thought, if he thought that That's he was going to be getting up. away with this or what. It was, that was his expectation, but screw him. For service of this sentence. Thank you. How are you mad? Six, we get a man who murdered a four-year-old boy, specifically his girlfriend's son. He actually abused this little boy to death. And then when he figured out that he was facing life in prison and court, he started breaking down in tears and all that kind of shit, crying fan. like a baby. And he's quite clearly crying because of the charges. He doesn't care about that four-year-old boy. I mean, he's a complete and total piece of shit. This guy is not a good guy. Don't fall for that kind of stuff because he's been doing crazy shit since before he was actually a teenager. I mean, he's wow. been involved in shoplifting, assault with a deadly weapon, wow. car theft. Uh, he's assaulted kids in the past, including his own uh, son instead of uh, his stepson. Yeah, this time, lock him up. Murdered. <laughs> he's been involved in other shit on top of that, too. It's good to see him behind bars because that's where he should be. The man accused of abusing a four-year-old boy, a boy who died, broke down as he was charged with murder. They don't so the tear him up in jail, murder, in prison. Without parole. The 25-year-old suspect broke down when the charges against him were okay. outlined you by a judge children. today. They're alleging you murdered one Giovanni Miajas. It is called felony murder. It is a felony. I didn't reply. This has got to be my favorite clip on this entire list just because of the reaction to this woman. Uh, it's actually a really bad situation. It's kind of a shitty situation. But I, I gotta yeah. be honest, I can't help but find her reaction just absolutely dead ass hilarious. But this woman, she tried to murder her husband. She actually was part of a botched murder for hire plot. She tried to hire a hitman or somebody to kill her husband, which uh, apparently she was able to find somebody to do that. And they shot her husband. The thing is, like I said, it was botched. And her husband ended up surviving that wow. one gunshot. Uh, and she ended up being figured out for being behind all of this. And obviously Stupid. she's now in court <laughs> and she was found guilty. And she's facing some heavy jail time. And, uh, well, her reaction to it is absolutely priceless. I mean, her face is insanely perfect. It's like, uh, I'm responsible for my actions? What? Also, I'm pretty sure she's <laughs> the only one on this list that doesn't start freaking out or going crazy. She just, you know, kind of loses it and faints. In the above entitled cause, find the defendant. Diana Jean Lovejoy, guilty of the crime of a attempted murder of Greg Mulvihill. We further find true the allegation that Diana Jean Lovejoy acted willfully, deliberately, and Why pre she looks surprised? with premeditation within the meaning of Penal Code Section 189. And Walden K. McDavid, guilty of the crime of conspiracy to commit murder. For real? She passed out. In the number four spot, this one's a bit different wow. from the list because this one doesn't involve the life sentence or a really long sentence in general. This one actually involves the death penalty out. because this 19 year old, he ended up getting convicted and got the death penalty for carjacking this woman's car. She's 23 years old, robbing her, raping her, and then murdering her in cold blood. This is actually a little bit of a, an older clip, but there's a lot of media around this trial because of the severity of the crimes and that kind of stuff. But while this guy was getting convicted uh, and basically sentenced to the death penalty, uh, shortly thereafter, I believe it was his mother that started crying in the courtroom. And uh, I guess this kind of set this uh, dude off uh, and he started going kind of crazy and freaking out. 
uh, after, you know, he figured out that he was going to be dying. And I think that his mom crying on top of that just kind of set him over the edge. This has got to be one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard. Wow. This guy, he's 14 years old, or at least he was 14 years old at the time of this crime. He's a little bit older now. But when he was 14, he robbed, proceeded to beat and rape a 91-year-old woman. You heard me right. He I had a feeling he was going to say raped someone a elderly. year old woman. And he did that all when he was only 14 years 91. old. And obviously, he's getting a decent sentence because that is some really crazy shit to do. Um, and... He, in court, after he got sentenced to 30 years in prison, started freaking out. He didn't freak out actually in court. He freaked out right after he left uh, when he went through the doors outside of the court. Him. And I guess started kind of fighting the guards. You can't see anything because, like I said, it's behind a door. But you can definitely hear things going on. And also you can hear his mom crying and, and shit like that. When Luis Reyes learned that he'd be in jail for the next 30 years, you knew just by his body language the bailiffs would have to hold him. As the door shut, Reyes's mom wailed, and then her son screamed. Oh, my goodness. Putting over number two, we've got a 19-year-old who's in court, and he's there because he shot and killed a 21-year-old in an attempted robbery. Apparently, this 21-year-old was walking home to his apartment, and this 19-year-old uh, shot and killed him while he was trying to rob him. But Damn, these he stories are crazy. Life without parole, which is good, because this guy is extremely aggressive. In fact, after he got sentenced to life in prison without parole, he freaked out, started moving the desk and trying to throw it and shit like that and attacking the officers, just doing crazy shit. <sighs> Uh, and they were really prepared for it. The, the officers were, in fact, and they subdued him extremely quickly because they literally expected it because this guy had been so aggressive in the courtroom in the past. Something that really, really annoys me about these clips is the constant families in the background that are always screaming that kind of shit. Obviously, you know, your kid just got sentenced to life in prison without parole, right. but, like, maybe instead of being here now, you should have been there in the past and maybe taught him some values before he did something like this and ruined somebody else's life. At his sentencing today, 19-year-old Shondell Jackson was facing a mandatory life term for pulling the trigger, but hoped for a chance at parole. A hope dashed by Judge Rebecca Dallin, who gave him life without parole, sparking the outburst. And finally, one side, this one is just wow. despicable. This man, he is convicted of <clears throat> killing two people, including a Long Beach mother and her daughter. Uh, and he's in court, and he was uh, sentenced to life, but he was supposed to be listening to some victim statements, you know, people who were affected by this and uh, all that kind of stuff, family right. members. Uh, and he just didn't want to. So instead of, you know, sitting down and listening to it, he started freaking out and trying to leave the courtroom and shit like that. And it's just a downright, you know, just shitty thing to do. You can just tell that this guy just doesn't really care that much about human life or shit like that. Or at least that's <laughs> kind of the vibe that I get from him. And I, just, I don't really understand it. I don't know how people can go and do stuff like this. Because they're just complete and total monsters. Oh, you're not gonna, I don't care about that shit, bro. That's, I see yeah, because you know that shit gonna eat him alive. Like his conscience. That's Brendan Colbert. He is convicted of killing... Karina Mancena and her four-year-old daughter, Jenna Bella Naya, back in August of 2016. Wow, all all right, y'all. That was my reaction to that video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video. Bye.